what we learned yesterday, the crane form. And what I'm going to teach you, mainly what I'm going to teach you is the breakdowns of all the forms. From what I understand, you want to become instructors, right? So we're going to train you. We might not certify, we will not certify you right now, this time, but we will next year, for sure. We will come to the to your locals in Oklahoma. It's planned already. Okay? And we will train you to become very good, the best instructor in the whole world. All right? So the first step you need to do is to learn how to do the breakdowns. The breakdown is to help you to teach very easy the form. Very easy, because it's step by steps. And easy, easy for the students to learn, actually. You will find out with this that your student will learn faster than you did in the past, because there are sequences, very easy to do sequences. So we have it here, one, two, uh, three, four, five steps, actually four steps only, and between one and the one and number two, you have some <coughs> other steps, right? So we can review this right now if you want to. Yes, yes, yes. The answer is so direct. I ask them to <laughs> erase this and we have a brief pop quiz. They say no. <laughs> All right, the first one is to shift the weight on the right and left foot. This is, this is exactly what we did in the warm up. All right, this one here. You shift to the right, to the left. Because the crane, you have to lift up your leg upright. And most of the time, when we lift up our legs, we're not really are using too much of our muscles. We're not, we're not using what is already there in our body, is the body weight. By putting all the weight in one point, we naturally find the balance. That's what we're trying to do, that awareness of balance. We, yes, we may use muscles, but not as much as when we're not putting all the weight into that one point. So the first thing we will do when you teach, we do is to teach them how to feel the weight of the body. So you need to open up the legs instead of having one leg here, and open like this right away. They might not understand. Because up here, you do model. So when you tell them, feel the weight, not sure they understand what you're saying, but they will do what you do. So by opening up here, then they will they do exactly what you do, without knowing that it's shifting the weight. But as they do many, many times, suddenly you are actually bringing them, help them to bring that awareness of the shifting weight. All right? And then, look at this one. Everyone here, understand? Yes, you. Yes. Yeah. 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 And then, all right. And now, uh, <laughs> third joint. Third joint. <laughs> <laughs> all right. First step. Step number one point one. So we're still on the shifting way, right? Now you bring the leg in like this. So we we emphasize more into the focus of our weight. Open up and you shift and you feel the, heavy, the heaviness. You feel that you find the balance, the natural balance, without using the muscle that much. The best thing from the clinic is so more that I'm sounding a bit canyon, it's not a bit from the dentary, not the giant, or the gene fine. It's from hand, it's a little more chunks, a little more chunks, so when you're more chunks, then you want to put them, jump on you. Two. Now you stop. You stop just one second for, for, for just for a little inhale and exhale. Okay, and then open out and then breathe in and stop, inhale and exhale. So we really emphasize. 
emphasize on feeding the body weight, fuel work, fuel balance in your in your one legs here without using much muscles. If I remove that some of the that can yeah, the office is come down. So you're picking some uh to kind of open. Alright? And then open and you shift it feel really extend. Open and down. And then takes out. Very good. Now let's move on to the next one. Number two. Number two is when we start to lift up. Okay? We start to lift up and we see that because we have learned how to find balance, lift up is a piece of cake. If we lose balance as we bring up, we don't have to. You need to advise your students to say, it's okay, you don't have to bring that high. Just do that much. That's already good. You need to find them, find them and help them to find confidence. They need to find confidence. Okay, open out. Because of confidence, naturally, they will improve very fast. If they lose balance, they will find fear. Fear of losing balance, fear of falling, and they will never improve. So by giving confidence, you actually help them to improve. Very meaningful. Okay, bring it in, raise up. You may put your hands on the thighs if you want to. You will keep your back straight and relax. And open. Sometimes or many times you do like this, right? Some people lose balance, you say, oh, you need to bring them high. But they don't want to. They don't want to. They keep doing high and keep losing balance because they want to copy you and they want to be like everyone else. They're afraid to be different or lower than anyone. So what to do? You the model, right? So you yourself change and do it just that much so that everyone do the same. Okay, open out, bring in, and then bring it up. This is part of our culture. Our culture is to bring out care. We're not just teaching the form, which is yes, but we want to bring out care. So how can we bring out care? We have to sometimes just throw ourselves down to exactly what the level of the people that you have in front of you so they can really follow. And out. That's two, right? 2.1, we start to push out. So when you the first one is a young form. Young form, you open your ankle, Down. Okay, you can do one and then change and then bring it up, ankle and then push it out. And you can do one like this, shift all the time. Or you can do a series of three to five or ten, depending on your student's strength. Alright, so how about we do three series? Bring it up, open the ankle and push out. And 2.2 is the yin form. You don't have to do it. You don't have to do it. We don't have to do it. But we do it for our knowledge. You usually teach only the yang form for a while, for a year, for example. And then you teach the yin form. The yin form 
long you don't move your ankle, you totally relax your ankle and then you push down. It's a bit harder because it requires more awareness, that's one thing. And the second, second thing is that you need to push out. Usually people, when they, when they don't move their ankle, they will kick like this. It's not a kick, it's still a push like this. Okay, we bring it up and then we push. See? So the kick is like this, like a soccer. We're doing this here, but this is a push. Pushing out. so that he will, um, he will uh, be at the yeah. ear level right here and open your palms and relax your arms. And okay, very easy movement. Inhale, exhale. Hold. This movement may be easy, but it's very meaningful when you bring the arms up high like this, you're actually raising up your diaphragm. So again, it's an opportunity for us to breathe very deep into our lungs. And exhale. And then you can go into details of the movement. For example, how to twist, rotate your wrist actually. You rotate the wrist, totally relax your palm here. Rotate your wrist until it, when it's blocked here, stuff. Then you open your palms and then relax. Bring arms up and then rotate your wrist, open the palms and relax. In the process of rotating your wrist, you also relax your elbows. Easy to open your palms. Take your hand in there and then your hand goes. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Sideways, just up and down like this. And we find that we realize. 
it is so easy to do this, so easy to find balance. So it's an opportunity for us to learn to focus, build the awareness, to sink the arms and hands and leg movement up and down. Remember to curl your tongue up, only you breathe with your nose. Again, your tongue on boys, you can come to do it then. And then you pull. Again, I'm going to take a look at the tail, but the tongue is very easy. And the tail is very easy, you can do it well. And then you can do it well, and then you can do it well. And then you can do it well, and then you can do it well. Synchronize your tongue. So you you keep yourself aware of the whole body. Go. Arjan. 